besides skydiving. It's a little scary, which is cool. Inside. That was awesome, yes. Without jumping out of an airplane. Yeah, it's really fun. It's better than an amusement ride because it's not a ride. This is iFly, the region's first indoor skydiving facility. It's kind of the hottest thing in town right now. At 12 feet wide and 48 feet high, it's been designed to replicate the freefall experience of skydiving from 12,000 feet. It's really neat. It kind of gets you out of your comfort zone. Developed some 20 years ago by an experienced skydiver, iFly has grown to 37 U.S. locations with another 16 worldwide. Its Concord location, which opened last spring, is the first and only in the Carolinas. Basically, when you skydive, it just feels like you're floating on wind, uh, and that's exactly what it is in there. It does, never feels like you're falling. Your stomach does not drop. You just get in there. You don't feel like you're falling. You just feel this massive amount of energy coming at you with the wind. Flyers can schedule a time or just walk on in. After signing the waiver form and choosing a flight package, they get fitted with a flight suit, helmet, and goggles. Then watch a five-minute video with all the do's and don'ts. Your instructor will share with you the different hand signals that you need to know before entering the tunnel. Since the wind is so powerful and loud, hand signals are key. As soon as your body hits the wind, I want you guys to look just like this. Basically a big X with her arms bent, okay? Legs a little wide, nice and straight. Chin up, looking straight. Arms extended out in front of her eyes. Elbows slightly bent, hands kind of close together out in front of her eyes. All flyers have to do is lean in. The wind and instructor take it from there. So the first thing you gotta do is you just gotta relax and kind of trust the wind. I mean, they say it's like the scariest part, like just falling in, which I guess it is, but you feel really secure and protected because they're like holding on to you the whole time. Flights, as they call them, generally last 60 to 90 seconds, with trainers holding on and guiding you the whole time. Your mind is just like working 100 miles an hour to try to figure out, you know, if I twist my hand a little bit, is that gonna mess? You know, because that's how you steer. You, you, you basically, you control like that, and they're, and they're giving you visual cues from the outside. But beware of flapping cheeks and wind shooting up your nose. You do get a lot of a lot of wind up your nose, so you got to remember to breathe out of your mouth. If I come back, I'm using a helmet, a uh, full face. As an add-on, flyers have the option of doing a height flight, soaring to the top of the tunnel. It is an option. Uh, we basically just give you a vertical tour of the tunnel. Uh, we grab one of the side of your suit. The instructor does all the work. All you have to do is kind of just sit there and really enjoy the experience. Wind speeds fluctuate depending on the person's height, weight, experience level, and how well they're moving around. The whole training uh, from gear up to training takes about 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, and then the whole tunnel experience is anywhere from about another 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. So about an hour in total. The biggest differences between this and doing the real thing, no jumping out of an airplane and no parachute landing. But that middle part, the flying in the air part, is pretty much exactly the same. The only thing you don't get from here that you get with uh, skydiving is that the fear factor of as you're climbing and climbing and climbing and thinking, Oh my God, did I make a mistake? Am I really gonna go through with this? All of iFly's trainers have tons of real life skydiving experience, as well as countless hours in the tunnel. When groups wrap up their flight session, trainers like to show off their skills, some of which are pretty amazing. Charlotte native Braxton Polsgrove started with iFly two years ago at its Atlanta location. He then jumped at the opportunity to come back home. Well, I have about 1,100 skydives. Uh, I've been jumping for about seven years. Uh, and I've been tunnel flying for about First three. So uh, I actually helped build this place uh, during the construction phase. So I was here before we opened up. Uh, and then just kind of getting it going, getting all the, all the corks out and getting everything running smoothly was a uh, big experience for me. Braxton says most of the people who've been coming into iFly are first time flyers, but the more experienced ones are allowed a little more freedom in the tunnel. Anybody can do it. It really doesn't matter about age, size or shape or weight. Um, anybody can do this. Uh, if you're anywhere between three to 103 and you're under 300 pounds, you can do it. As for pricing, online packages for two flights start at around $50. Discounts are available for various groups, including military, seniors, Boys and Girl Scouts, and others. On this day, a group from InView Security Systems of South Charlotte came out for a corporate outing. One of the guys on my team, Dave, has done this before a couple years ago, and he suggested it. And we're always up for like new experiences because we're always looking at new technologies, new things. So we thought, let's, what the heck, let's give it a try. Another popular option for flyers, virtual reality. So we give you a helmet and it's got the virtual reality goggles on it. Um, and then you pick where it is that you want to jump. And we program that in there. And as soon as the video starts to play, then we put you in the wind. So you actually feel like... You're jumping in various parts of the world. 
and that's certainly tough to beat right in our own backyard. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting.